Hello dear all, welcome to the another video of our course that is discrete mathematics and today we are going to study the another type of relation that is transitive relation. In our previous video we have discussed about the reflexive and symmetric relation and now in this video we are going to study the transitive relation. This three relation reflexive, symmetric and transitive is very important for deriving the high order relations like equivalence relation so if you haven't watched my video of symmetric and reflexive relation you can watch it from my playlist so today in this video we are going to study about the transitive relation so without wasting much of time let's start our discussion so this transitive relation is little tricky as compared to other type of relation so this transitive relation or a relation on a set A is said to be transitive if AB belongs to R and we need to check the second condition that is CB also belongs to R. If AB belongs to R and CB also belongs to R then the relation must need to have AC. If we have AC then only the relation is said to be transitive here in transitive we need to check two condition first is AB belongs to R and then if we have another pair as CB then only we need to check for AC if we don't have such type of condition then we don't need to check for transitivity by default our relation will be transitive so this transitive relation is little tricky as compared to other relation we need to check the check for transitivity in two case so here i have written the case one and case two these are the two cases these are the two cases where we need to check for trans transitivity first i'm going to discuss the case one here in case one we have first element a b this is our first element and we have second element as BC. So if such type of pairs occurs then we need to check for AC. Here what you have observed in case 1. Here in case 1 we have this BB as common between two pairs. Pair 1 and pair 2. Here the second element of first pair is equal to the first element of second pair so that we need to have so here is the transitivity and we need to have AC in our relation so if we have AB and BC then the relations must need to contain AC this A and C then only our relation is said to be transitive in case number 2 we have a a common so this a a is common in this case too so this is the element first pair and this is the second pair so here in case two the first element of the first pair is equal to the second element of second pair then we need to check for a and C. So if we have a a common or this is second element is is equal to the first element or the first element is equal to the second element then we need to check for this BC or AC. Then only our relation is said to be transitive. If such case 1 or case 2 doesn't occur in a relation then our relation is by default transitive in nature. Here I am going to give you few examples which helps you to understand the concept of transitivity in better way. So here we have relation AB and the second relation is B and C. So here we have A as the first element and second element is B. And we have the second pair is B and C. So the here in this case we have these two elements is 
equal. So we must need to have AC. A and C. So we have AC. Therefore, this relation is transitive in nature. So first, I'm going to erase this and uh, then I'm going to give you the another example which will help you to understand the transitivity in more better way. So here we have first element is A and B and we don't have any other pair. So we don't have this case 1 or case 2. So if we don't have this type of cases then by default our relation is in transitive in nature. So R2 is also in transitive because we don't have such type of condition to check is case 1 or case 2 to check therefore this relation is by default in transitive transitive in nature so we have another relation R3 which is, which has the first element is BA and second element is AC so we have first sorry so we have first element is So we have first element is B and A. A and second element is A and C. So we have this A A common and therefore we must need to have B and C. So but we don't have this BC in our relation. So we don't have BC in this relation R3. Therefore, this relation is not a transitive relation. So I'm going to give you more example. This relation is little tricky, tricky so you need to do much practice to identify the transitivity so here we have another relation first element is a b here we have second element is equals to the first element so this is b b this case to second sorry this case to second element is equal to the first element so we must need to have the pair a c so we have a c and we can check in other way here we can check with this element also here we have first sorry and we have this also second element is equal to the first element so we must need to have AC and we have another here this is this element also if this A is equal to this A also so we we also need to have BC so we have BC here and we have this A is equal to this A so this A also need to be in this relation so this relation is also a transitive relation so this is little tricky to compare uh, to identify the transitive relation so in next video I am going to give you a algorithm called algorithm which helps you to identify the transitive relation in better way so in next video we are going to find the transitive closure which will help you to identify whether the relation is transitive or not so this is all for today see you in next video